I wanted to do a, a longer uh, lesson for you. I've been doing some short videos on uh, rockabilly rhythms and stuff like that. And I thought what I would do is do a little bit longer of a take and share some of the licks I do. I'm in the key of A here. And I'm basically working off, uh, rhythmically I'm working off the A, the D, and the G string a lot. And I hardly even leave there. Um, the reason being, for me, it has a lot of punch when you play what I call partials. And partials are just really small versions of a chord. So in this case, I'm using an open A. And I got my finger just my finger straight on the second fret of the D and G string, which is of course an A chord, but it's a version of the A that doesn't include this note, the C sharp, mostly, okay? Because what I like is the way it snaps this way when, it, when you play a partial. Some people call it a double stop, although, you know, technically it's, I've got, you know, three strings involved, but you could call it. But what's cool about it is you can get this uh, sort of mo what I call a mama daddy rhythm. Mama daddy, mama daddy, mama daddy, mama daddy. But now, regardless of the rhythm that you want to choose, there's many different types. I, it's a rockabilly thing because it's got that I'm so right my mama Let's so right with me You know that Elvis, you know, kind of Carl Perkins thing Blue suede shoes But you can go anywhere you want with it But what I want to show you is a couple of licks that are going to work In that whole style And one of them that I really like Is going from this This first position A Up to what's really a second position A And what I'm doing is I'm taking my first finger I'm putting it on the fourth fret of the D string, okay? My second finger is gonna be on the fifth fret of the G string, which is basically an A flat. But I'm gonna slide up to the A, so check it out. Isn't that cool? Now, if you add that to the lower lick, it you can kind of go back and forth and really get it. probably heard that before uh it sounds a little bit like uh oh gosh what's her name ricky lee jones to that Chucky, Chucky's in love. which is a, such a great acoustic one of the best acoustic uh tracks i've heard in a while so what i want to share then is a, a couple of vocab what i call vocabulary looks what does that mean it just means these are as blues you can use i guess you know in this case rockabilly you can use so if you're in the key of A and you're just working off those two, you know, the low A string, and then you're squeezing the second fret on the D and the G, and, the G, and you're opening it up, you can also pick up a low lick. We're, we're getting into John Lee Hooker land, but you can riff off that uh, third fret on both the A and the, and the low E string. So super simple. Just hit that C note, bend it. You know, who does that really good is a friend of mine named Bill Kirchin. He's a great telly guy. Hammer of the honky tonk gods. And I've been following him. We've been buddies for a long time. He's from the same Mill Valley where I'm from. Uh, not originally, but he settled there for a while. He was in Commander Cody in the Lost Planet Airmen, so he did that uh, Hot Rod Lincoln. He was a really great player and still is. God, he's out there doing it. But in, in that, back to that A rockabilly, if you work off that third fret on the low A and the low E string, it sounds something like this. Now that's obviously a slower, a slow down version for you. Or you can just do a lick like. I like that one. It's just a pull off. So you're pulling up the third fret on the A string and then landing on the low G note. Third fret on the low E. But wiggle it. I think that gives it personality when you start to. 
not always, but you know, not too much of it, a little bit, you know, a little bit goes away. So once again, what I've, what I've covered here so far is I've talked about just this low A chord using a partial. And by the way, although I'm using it finger style, you can do it with or without a pick. I got a picture somewhere. Yeah, I'll show you what it sounds like with a pick. You know, it's a little different because with a pick, it's and they, that might be more comfortable for you. I don't know. Uh, you, it's still good. It's cool. And certainly, but it sounds a little different. I like it finger style because I'm a fan of that. You know. Not too much nail. I like a little bit of skin like Clapton. But uh, if you listen to the tightness of it. There's so many places you can go. I do, uh, I do quite a few lessons actually on my jimmydillon.com site uh, and some, some of my products uh, that I, I get into, soul of acoustic guitar. and uh, I, I get into a lot of the stuff that's worked for me over the years, just being a, a side guy, frankly. You know, I've been a side guy a lot of my life. I've also funded bands quite a bit, but that's the whole, that's where I learned all this stuff is basically playing with other people and then which I encourage you guys to do. If you got a friend, uh, that plays, you know, play two guitars, man, you, you know, you really can get places by playing with somebody else because they're going to know stuff you don't know, right? And you guys can share, y'all can share with each other, which is what I'm doing with you guys here. I just like to share on YouTube and Instagram or whatever I can do. Because I figure at this point, you know, I've been doing this my whole life. I might as well, you know, share what I've learned. And if you find it of value, I'm going to share it with you. And if you like it, cool. If you don't, just take it cafeteria style. Take what you need and leave the rest. It's, Leave it on used to say it. So back to, um, before I leave you, I want to just say, um, if you're in the key of A and you're doing this kind of lick, I'm slowing it down. Ha ha, John Lee. That's John Lee right there. <laughs> and if you want to go to a D chord, I, can I recommend a D seventh here? So. That's kind of country rockabilly, right? Just a plain old D7th chord. Went back to your A. In practice, um, what it would sound like up to speed, just so you know, and I don't want to, I don't want to go too fast here. But now that we've slowed it down and I've shown you the actual moves, you know, right? And let me see if I can't uh, play through it a few times to show you what's possible when you use this this series of, I guess I'd call it special sauce. Uh, you know, sometimes I call it connective tissue, but it's just ways to fill between the chords, maybe between the changes or when you're playing a rhythm. So I'm going to scratch into the rhythm and see what happens. I'll see you down the road, but I know I'm going crazy now. That's for another lesson. So these 
are all, I, I usually go a little crazy towards the end of these lessons and just show you where you can go with this stuff. But I actually, as I mentioned, I cover a lot of that stuff on, at jimmydillon.com. If you check out my, my website, um, there's, there's some fun stuff there, actually. You might, you might enjoy it. And if not, that's cool. But I just, uh, I like connecting with y'all. So thanks for coming to visit me. And I'll see you down the road.